In this Clubhouse video, we're looking at a brand new template called Tools. And you can see it here on the screen. It's got a very striking background image that we've used in this top row here. And that's set as to cover and stretch the entire width of the screen for the device, whoever's looking at this page. Now, this template is a beautiful page. It's got lovely colors used throughout, and it's got lots of white space. So we'll just scroll down here and take a look at it. You can see we've got a nice big headline using the capital fonts here really stands out on that darker background image. Now the image itself has got like a slight overlay laid to it, so the opacity through it is just darker, so it makes the white font stand out really nicely on the image. We have the supporting headline underneath, again using a nice clean font, not bold this time, but it's nice and clean and easily readable. Below that, we then have this lovely blue button here. If we click on it, it opens up the overlay optimizer for the two-step opt-in process, getting that little micro commitment for your user to put in their email in this case, and you could even add in, put in your name field if you wanted to. Going further down, we've got this lovely white space all around this elements here, or these elements, and going further down, the same throughout, you've got the white space. There's lots of spacing throughout this design. What keeps it nice and clean, it keeps it very fresh looking. These um, layouts themselves are really just two columns that are positioned here, and this is another, obviously, an image element put in here. And then we've got a title and then the font. So we've got, same again, we've got the headline, and then we've got the text block and the image. And they're just positions there, you know, it takes the eye further down the page, you go to this side, then you'd navigate over to that side. Just sort of breaks up the context in that middle section there. And again, lots of space between the top and bottom of these rows. Going further down, the two testimonials, you know, adding a bit of social proof into your landing page. Great thing to have on any page. If you've got customer testimonials, include them in. You could actually take this out and just put a one testimonial row in there if you wanted to. Going further down, we've kept the blue color this time, reversed it so we've got the white font on top of the blue color, nice blue row all the way across the bottom with this little arrow pointing here. And then we've got this overlay optimizer pops up again with the email form. Let's just jump in and just take a look at what you can edit on this page. So if we just scroll down, you can see here, these rows are actually two separate elements. They're not using the image and text element, they're using like a separate element. You've got the headline and you've got the text block here. And then we've got the other element on the right, which is an image. Again, these font, these images and these custom icons are all included with the template. So you can obviously use them or you can switch them out and put in your own ones. You can see if I open up the row element here, you can see the padding at the top is 90 and the padding at the bottom is 90 as well. That's what generates that space all around this in rows. So all the rows have lots of padding in them, generating that space. Further down, you can see at the bottom here, we've got this little icon, little arrow icon there, and that's just included in the theme. You can see if you wanted to use it as well, you could obviously copy and paste the little arrows and use them anyway. You could put them in your overlay buttons if you wanted to, or your submit buttons. But you can come and grab them out of this uh, headline here if you want to use them. There's the overlay optimizer. Obviously it's showing white because it's using a transparent button here. So when it shows actually on the page, you can see it had the white border through it. So there it is, it's a lovely page, nice and clean, perfect to use pretty much in any sort of niche, any type of landing page. And of course, if you wanted to, you could switch out this image with anything suitable for your niche. One thing to note, if you're going to have the white fonts, then you want to have a dark image on the background. Or if you have an image, maybe overlay it with a darker um, darker shade. So it gives this, so it's, well, it makes it easier to read the white font on top of the image. Okay, so either pick a dark image or you'd have to customize your own image. So that's the tools template ready for you to download now. If you do use it on your sites, please drop us an email. We'd love to see it in action.